I am told that this apple pie is gluten-free. But is it delicious? Yes, it is. And it was created by the professional culinary students at Doña Ana Community College at the premier culinary institute of New Mexico. Joining me now, Chef Tom Drake. Nice to see you, Chef Tom. Nice to see you, thanks for coming up today. Absolutely delicious. I've eaten a lot of food in your school and every bite is, and I'm not kidding, off the charts good by your students. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you very much. This program at Doña Ana Community College has led to some off the charts careers. It is an incredible program. Tell us about what has happened to some of your graduates. We are very proud of a lot of our graduates, actually all of them. Uh, they have gone on to just do some wonderful things. I've got one that's going to go to Disney World this fall after graduation. I've got a sous chef in uh, Facebook in Austin, Texas. I've got some that have opened their own businesses. Uh, we are very proud of the ones that have gone on and opened their own stores or businesses, uh, bakers, uh, caterers, uh, just so many. We have people in uh, Hawaii, ski resorts up in Colorado. It's just phenomenal to hear all the successes of our graduates. Wow, and it's a two-year program, so take us through the basics. When it starts, where does it go and how does it work? Well, they go uh, through several uh, core classes as well as a lot of elective classes. Uh, the, the four core classes get them ready for the industry. Their last semester with us here, uh, the senior level class, if you will, uh, they learn table service and they run uh, our kitchen just like you would see on Hell's Kitchen. We have a sous chef that designs the menu, uh, does all the production lists, uh, basically runs the kitchen, calls the orders, times uh, firing all the, the, uh, the customers' uh, three-course meal, uh, and then they pick the team members that run the different stations as well as the service staff. They learn table service as well. When you sit down at a nice restaurant, you get this beautiful plate and it's gorgeous and it tastes delicious and you go, mm, oh, I really love that. But a lot of people don't realize it takes a team of people focused to make that happen. And you said time is the only ingredient that you can't mess with. Absolutely, that's the only thing. You go over to the clock and take the battery out, the world's still turning. So time is something that we put a lot of uh, emphasis on uh, so they learn how to manage it. So they're, uh, all the timing, whether it's between stations or an event, that they have to be spot on with their timing. A lot of people don't know there's, there are different roles in the kitchen and your students all have to rigorously learn every single role in the kitchen. Yes? Correct. So for example, the sous chef, I, I always thought that was just the chef that made the sauces, but you're saying, no, 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 that's not it. No, that's the saucier that makes the sauces. A sous chef is actually an understudy to the chef. Sous means under, and so this is the understudy to the chef. So if the chef wanted a day off, he had somebody that could manage the kitchen on his behalf. Okay, and you teach these sous chefs to call out times. I mean, there's a safety matter. You've got a lot of people running around with knives and hot things. That's a combo for potential harm. What do you teach them? We teach them kitchen communication, and it's always a callback system. So if somebody is coming around behind you, they say behind with a knife, and you reply heard, then they reply back, thank you. So there's a communication that I heard you, and I know that you heard me say heard. So it's, uh, it's fascinating to see the yes chefs and uh, no chef and five minute chef uh, call out. Ultimately though, it's all about deliciousness. And that's what you're after. Good food, like for example, this pie, which is gluten free. And I've had some vegan dishes that were wonderful. Uh, it's all about the taste. So you grade, I mean, you, you're kind of hard on the students. Talk about that grading. It's a uh, grading based just solely on flavor is very difficult because I'm not a saltaholic, or some of the students love their salt, but they have to understand they're not cooking for themselves, they're cooking for the masses. So we teach them the fundamentals of flavors and how to layer the flavors in the simplest of forms. They taste it at every level. If they add salt to it, they taste it again. They add pepper to it, they taste it again. So they're learning how to develop those flavors. But we also teach them that simple is better. Yes. Chef Tom, thank you so much. More information, go visit Doniana on its website.